fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yep, this is very bad. A minor twist, eh? From the moment the hits aired, I saw the scene that changed everything. With the striped horse and the bearded sheep sounding a lot like Susie McAllister. And speaking of Susie... Back in the wake, Susie told Ramona it's fine, it's fine, it's fine when they're talking about the tornado internet. But that doesn't change the fact that Susie's mind controlled by the striped horse and the bearded sheep. And that's what we're here to talk about today. But before we do, please subscribe to Shimmery Kyla Ace with notifications on so you'll never miss a video like this one. And just so we're clear, I'm also going to be including the clues I noticed from the third chapter of Barb and the Spotted Bears. With all that said, let's dive in. From what we saw in Storybook Susie, Susie told everyone in the coven, including Hedgehog, The story of Mildred. By the end of the episode, Susie told the coven to take her into the metaphysical reserve just because she thinks she's trying to communicate with her with this tornado on her neck, with Hedgehog being a little confused. But I don't think that's true, because Mildred's still off to the frozen north to find her parents, and we haven't saw her journey yet. If there are two people who are responsible for forcing Susie to go into the metaphysical reserve, it's the striped horse and the bearded sheep. As we can see from season 5, they fell into a deep sleep when Barb gave up her ability to sleep. So I'm guessing the tornado must be a portal for them to get into Susie's head while they're in the metaphysical reserve, just like her. Not only that, but they made Susie turn into a fossil, just like it said from the cliffhanger of the last witch. But the rest of the coven didn't know that, nor did Mildred. Speaking of which... Mildred has threw her tantrum, just like we all know, but that's not all. What we also saw in Season 5 is that we get to follow Mildred into the wood. This is the character I had the least to say about, unfortunately. But fortunately, what we know from the last witch is that they're trying to kill another witch to save Susie. And I think that next witch must be Mildred herself. So she did manage to make it to the island while Hedgehog is begging for Susie to hear her out. She might throw a tantrum when she found out that Susie's fossilized. But what about the metaphysical reserve itself? I have a lot to say about the metaphysical reserve, you guys. In the episode of the same name, Susie steps through a portal into another realm and she appears to step into a utopia of sorts from Mildred McAllister herself, her little sister. I think the striped horse and the bearded sheep can be the big baddies Oscar, Hedgehog, and Mildred will have to face in order to save Susie. They're still asleep and might be controlling Susie while they're still in there. But if they manage to stop them, they'll be able to reverse the process to get Susie unfossilized. I'm really waiting for Susie to have an in-person reunion with the real Mildred. There's gotta be some way to save Susie and get her out of the metaphysical reserve, right? Right? Of course there is, and I think that Moja can make her own portal into the metaphysical reserve to reach her out. But the coven never knew Susie's turning into stone. And if Susie's mind controlled, everything will be changing in the island, including the world. All we know so far about the metaphysical reserve is that it's a realm of sorts with dreams and spirits. So I think it's fair for Moja McAllister to get to the island, make a new portal to the metaphysical reserve, and save Susie from being mind controlled so they can have an actual reunion. You know what it looks like I'm tearing up just thinking about it. But anyway, that's all for now. What do you think? Do you think Susie's mind controlled? And if so, how do you think she'll be saved? Let me know in the comments down below, or you can continue the conversation in my Reddit profile. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Shimmery Kyle Ace for more content like this one. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. See you later!